Hello, what's up? It's me again. My name is Lazar and welcome to another video on this channel. In this video, we are going over uh, these boots, which are the Timberland Premium 6 inch boot, which are freaking amazing. They're really heavy duty and they're really heavy. Well, physically heavy, heavy on your feet. Uh, they're really high quality and I love these boots. This is my first pair of actually these boots ever, which is kind of surprising but still I really like them so yeah let's go over the the history and uh, how these boots came to be first and then we're gonna go over some outfits and the way I cleaned these boots Timberland is an American manufacturer and retailer of outerwear with a focus on footwear the company's history dates back all the way to uh, 1952 when it was founded as the Abington Shoe Company by Nathan Schwartz. Originally, the company specialized in the production of waterproof boots. In 1965, they introduced a injection molding technology that revolutionized the waterproof boots. And then in 1973, they introduced the Timberland boots. The boots gained the popularity for their durability, comfort and waterproof features becoming a symbol of the brand. The Abington Shoe Company officially changed its name to the Timberland Company in 1978. In the 1990s, the Timberland boots became a prominent fashion statement and accessory, particularly within the hip-hop community. The iconic Timberland 6-inch waterproof boot, uh, often referred simply as Tim's or Timberlands, gained widespread popularity and became a symbol of urban culture, especially in places like New York. The trend of wearing Timberland boots in hip-hop culture during the 1990s has left a lasting impact on fashion. Even beyond the 90s, Timberland boots continue to be a classic and iconic choice for urban fashion and are often associated with the hip-hop aesthetic. So, for the first fit, we have this new black leather jacket, which is wool lined. Underneath it, we have my green sweater, which if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen plenty of times. On the bottom, we have a pair of wide paint splatter jeans. And I don't know which brand these are from. I got them at the bins and uh, the tags are all ripped and everything, but I love the way that they fit. And I love the way that the paint splatter brings some character to the outfit. On the bottom, of course, we have the Timberland boots. Uh, so yeah, I really like this outfit. I love the new black jacket that I got. I love the way it fits me. I do wish it was a bit more cropped, but that's fine. I might do that adjustment. Next up, on the next fit, we're changing up all of the tops. The pants stay the same, uh, but on top we have a vintage shirt from the 90s. Over that, we have a new Carhartt jacket that I just got, and I love the way it fits. Again, I do wish it was a bit more cropped, but I like the way it fits as it's a bit more casual and work wary if that makes sense. On top of that, I have a Minnesota hockey cap, I think, just for a pop of color, uh, a red cap. Really, I think it adds a lot of character to the outfit. For the next outfit, I'm changing out the top for a black uh, crew neck. And it's just a gilded uh, blank, and I love the, 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 the weight of it, the materials, the, the way it fits, everything about it is amazing. Over that, I'm adding my green bomber jacket, which I really, really like the way it goes with the Timberlands. The green and the, and the like tan brown really makes this outfit pop a bit. Next up, I'm just removing the crew neck, and I'm putting on my denim jacket, denim work jacket, which is one of my favorite thrift finds ever. Usually this is not an outfit I would wear, but I really like the the way that the pants and the jacket are the same color and are only split by what's underneath the jacket. So when I button up the jacket, as you'll see here, it really just flows and it looks like a, like a onesie, basically. That's not necessarily not, not a good or a bad thing, but depends on how you look at it. It's a great fit. It goes great with the Timberlands. Timberlands really, really seal the deal as a, uh, this being a working outfit so I really like just the dynamic of all of the all of the pieces here so next up we're changing the main component which is the pants 
I'm putting on these Levi's, I think they're 501s, but they are they are oversized. They're uh, 33, I think, and I'm a 30. So they look really wide on me, but that's why I love the way that they fit over the Timberlands. Once again, uh, on top, I have my new black wool-lined jacket. And under that, I have a black sweater, which I've tucked in, so it's gonna sit on my waist. I really like this outfit as an all-black outfit. It really directs the focus on the boots, which is the point here. That's why I don't have anything to break up the blackness on top, if that makes sense. I really like this outfit. I really like the way it amplifies the boots, I guess. Next up, we're removing the, the sweater, going back to the vintage shirt and the Carhartt. This time I chose a black cap instead of the red one because the red one would take away too much uh, attention from the boots and that's not what I want here. So the Carhartt is grayish and it's sandwiched between the black hat and the black pants and it really mm, is neutral and it really doesn't take away any attention from the boots. So. I really like that about these two fits because they're very neutral on top and it lets the boots shine. Next up, switching the top pieces, I have my green sweater again, but this time I'm using my denim jacket and I love the way that black and blue denim work together, especially if the pants are black and the, and the top denim is uh, blue. I love the way that these two pieces work. Next up, I'm switching the jacket to the green bomber again, which one of my all-time favorite jackets. I, it's, it's literally a daily for me. I love the way it fits. I love the way it goes with these pieces right now. We have the 90s faded shirt underneath, the faded denim on the bottom, the Tims and the bomber jacket. And I love this outfit. It's, it's really nice. It's a really nice winter outfit. Next up, we're switching the pants again. This time I'm wearing uh, the Carhartt double knee pants in a size 30, which is my size, but they fit a bit weird or a bit more wide than I would like to. And also the material is a bit softer than I, than I thought it would be. On top, I have uh, the black crew neck and the denim jacket, which I really like how it fits. I really like how it, uh, uh, once again, I really like the colors in this outfit. I really like that they're all muted and they all don't interfere with one another, so to say. Uh, the pants over the, the boots are a bit like mixed together, which might be a problem sometimes, but I don't think it is in this outfit. Next up, we're changing the jacket for the Carhartt jacket. Now we have a classic TikTok fit, a 90s faded shirt, a Carhartt jacket, double knee pants, and some footwear in this situation is Timberlands, but yeah. I really like the simplicity of the outfit. Everything flows together. The, the colors are really close to each other, so they're, they, they're similar to each other. And the, the shirt is, of course, tucked in. Next up, switching the jacket again for the bomber jacket, just to see how it fits. And I really like how it fits. It, as a difference to the Carhartt, it really brings out more color to the outfit rather than taking it away, like the Carhartt. And yeah, once again, this is my one of my daily daily jackets, and I love the way it fits, and I love the way it's, it it flows on me, and everything about it is really nice. And finally, we're switching to the last pants for today, which are these UK military pants that I thrifted, and I really really like how they fit. I love the length, I love the depth, I love everything about them. These are amazing pants and I really like how they sit on top of the Timbs, making them look a bit chunkier, which really enhances the military aesthetic of, of them. Uh, on top I have uh, just the black uh, crew neck and the black leather jacket to not take any, any attention away from the bottom parts, which contain all the color in the outfit. And here is a all natural <laughs> outfit. So the green pants, the green bomber jacket, the black crew neck, underneath the jacket to just break up the, 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 the greenness of it all. And I love this outfit. I usually don't wear something like this, but this really looks nice and I think I could pull it off and I'm, I am pulling it off here. It doesn't look like something I would wear, but now that I see myself wearing it, it 
looks good, so I would consider it. Now we have here the denim jacket, and in this uh, part of the video you can see how uh, deep the pants are, and how far up they come, but that's actually a good thing, I really like the way that they, that they go up upwards, making your legs look, look uh, bigger. The denim jacket is there to just give it some, some more color on top, and I really like how it uh, breaks up all of the more natural colors in the bottom. And finally, here is the Carhartt jacket once again with the red hat. And this is, I think, my favorite fit from the video. I really love the mix of colors, the gray and black and faded black shirt, the gray of the Carhartt, the red cap, contrasting the green pants, which go together with the, with the brown boots or the tan boots. And yeah, I really like this outfit. It really is something I would wear on a daily. So yeah, I, I love this outfit. I love the way the boots work with these pants especially. So here you can see me cleaning up the Timberlands. And uh, the first thing I did was uh, sandpaper them with a high grade sandpaper. So I could remove all of the imperfections that they had. They had this layer of dirt on top of them and I also tried to save the the suede so it can be back to normal default Tim's but it didn't work because it has been like glued and turned into like a normal leather basically so what I ended up doing is just using some Vaseline because I heard that it really does well as a leather moisturizer and uh, helps the boots shine and look a bit better so yeah here you can see me applying the Vaseline and uh, moisturizing the boots as much as I can. And I think they look much better now than they used to when I got them, so yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It would really mean a lot to me if you subscribed and liked and commented. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be.